hello everyone uh, welcome back to the channel in this video I'm gonna show you how I made my control panel for the cattle turnouts that I have here in my layout I'm currently in the process of uh, replacing that single stall engine house with a double stall structure that I built from a pike stuff kit in order to do that, I will have to install this uh, number 4 Kato electric turnout to enable the locomotives to switch tracks when going in and out of the building. I will also need to add a new switch here to control that new turnout. And so that's why I thought that uh, it will be a good opportunity for me uh, to show you how I made my uh, control panel here. As you can see, I used the uh, plexiglass for my panel here, which I think is a great material to use for this kind of project. Here I am painting the lines uh, that represent the tracks on the turnout, and I'm just using a regular uh, blue acrylic paint to do this. I normally apply uh, three coats of uh, the paint uh, to make it look nice on the other side of the panel. After the third coat of the horizontal lines uh, dries up, I'm doing uh, three coats of paint for the diagonal line here. Then I just uh, paint over these uh, blue lines with uh, three coats of uh, white acrylic paint uh, to give it that uh, finished look. And this is how it looks like on the front side of the panel after the painting is done. If you spend time in uh, doing the painting carefully, you can create a nice looking uh, control panel for your layout by using this method. Now I just need to drill the holes that I will use to attach the toggle switch and the two 3mm LED bulbs to the panel. The kind of uh, toggle switch that I use for the panel is the uh, triple pole double throw type uh, with two positions which are both ons. You can actually also use the uh, double pole uh, double throw uh, type also with uh, both uh, on positions but I decided to use the uh, triple pole type as I think it would be easier for uh, soldering purposes. Cattle uses this uh, switch here to control their electric turnouts. The way it works is that it provides a momentary supply of current to the turnout and at the same time reversing the polarity of the voltage supply that the uh, turnout requires to draw. And that process is uh, what we should uh, try to duplicate if we're uh, replacing the switch with a toggle switch in the panel. As I mentioned earlier, I used the uh, 3mm LED bulbs for the indicator lights in the control panel. And for those who are not uh, familiar on how they connect to the uh, electric circuit in the panel, this type of uh, LED bulb has two leads connected to it, uh, one uh, being longer than the other. The longer one is the anode, which is the uh, positive uh, side of the bulb, and the shorter one is the cathode, or the negative side of the bulb. Basically, the positive uh, lead connects to the positive uh, voltage of the power supply, and the negative uh, lead connects to the negative voltage of the power supply. And depending on the power supply voltage, you may need to connect a resistor in series with the bulb uh, to protect the bulb from burning out. To attach the bulb to the panel, I use this uh, plastic mounting bezel that is designed for a 3 millimeter bulb and I just uh, insert it to the hole in the panel and it should stay in place. I use three colors of bulbs here in the panel, a blue, 
yellow and green. The blue lights indicate that the train would go straight along the main lines and the yellow lights will tell you that the train would go straight along the sidings. The green lights are used where there are crossovers in the tracks and when they are lit it tells you that uh, the train will switch tracks. I used uh, two yellow bulbs for this new switch here being that uh, the track is coming from the siding. As I also mentioned earlier, Kato electric turnouts uh, require momentary current supply uh, to work properly and that uh, momentary connection is being performed by this uh, push button switch here. You can hear the turnouts uh, draw on the other side of the bridge after I flip uh, these uh, toggle switches and press on this uh, push button switch here. To show you the wiring connections uh, for the switches under the panel, you can see how I used the uh, thermostat wires uh, to make the wiring uh, look uh, somehow organized and easier to manage. I just removed the cover from the wires and uh, used them individually. Of course, you can uh, purchase the wires uh, individually. They are uh, 18 gates in size, but uh, they need to be the solid type and not stranded because uh, the stranded wires are normally soft and uh, you won't be able to shape them like you can do with uh, solid wires. The power supply to the turnouts and the uh, LED bulbs comes from this uh, 14 uh, volts, 1500 uh, milliamps uh, DC power adapter. I use this uh, plug connector adapter to wire the power supply to the terminal strip here. And here you can see the positive and uh, negative uh, voltage connections to the terminal strip. I screwed a black wire to the positive side of the uh, terminal strip and, uh, and I soldered uh, the other end to the left and uh, center middle prongs of the toggle switch. The center uh, prong connection would be the uh, positive uh, voltage supply to the turnouts and the left uh, connection would be the uh, positive uh, voltage uh, supply to the LED bulbs. You can see two uh, light gray wires screwed to the negative side of uh, the terminal strip, one of which uh, goes to the uh, momentary uh, push button switch here, which will provide the momentary current supply to all the turnouts and uh, connected to all the uh, negative uh, voltage connections uh, in all the uh, toggle switches. The other light gray wire coming from the negative side of the terminal strip is connected to this uh, yellow uh, thermostat wire here, which would be the negative connections for all the LED bulbs. Here you can see the blue thermostat wire supplying the positive uh, voltage to all the other uh, toggle switches in the panel. And now to do the wiring for the new switch. Here you can see that I already did the wiring for the LED bulbs. I joined the negative leads of the LED bulbs together and soldered them to this uh, resistor here which is then soldered to this uh, yellow thermostat wire which is the uh, negative uh, voltage supply uh, for the uh, LED bulbs. I use uh, 1000 ohm uh, resistors for my setup here and uh, it is uh, higher than what is required for the LED bulbs because I don't want the lights to be too bright uh, when they're on. The positive leads of the LED bulbs are soldered to the left corner prongs of the uh, toggle switch. Here you can see the blue wire soldered to the middle left and center prongs of the switch 
and this will be the uh, positive voltage supply to the LED bulbs and to the new turnout. And the white uh, negative voltage wire for the turnout is also connected here. Here you can see the red uh, crisscrossed uh, wires already soldered to the switch and this will uh, reverse the voltage polarity that is sent to the turnout whenever the switch is flipped which will also change the direction of the turnout. These wires here supply power to the turnout. You can see them screwed to this uh, terminal strip here and then go to connect to the turnout uh, wires. Now let's see if the new switch works. The yellow indicator lights work good. And you can hear the clicks from the turnout indicating that uh, it changes direction. Now let's watch this uh, CN and uh, CSX locomotives if they will go into the building properly. The door's uh, vertical clearance is really tight. I still need to work on the ground where the building stands, which will raise the whole building and will improve the door's uh, vertical opening. Okay guys, it seems like uh, everything's working fine. I'm hoping that I was able to uh, somehow clearly explain to you how I made the control panel for my layout. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel. I will see you on the next video. Take care and bye for now.